So people, I've decided to start my next review. And as you can see, I'm in the game room as I promised. But if you watch the review room video, you will also know that I said I was going to be introducing somebody named Uazaru in the next video. So I will. But I wonder where he is. Okay, so maybe none of that actually happened, but I still am going to be introducing Uzaru, so... Hey, Uzaru, you're on. Oh shit. Oh yes. Buyaka! Friends, lovers, comrades, spectators, strangers of the internet! I don't give a rat's ass about it. We have summoned you to these hollow grounds, not for the eradication of our benevolent amenities, not to admire the shock and awe of fast assembly internet icons, and certainly not to inspire actions so inconceivable and morbidly unethical that they can only be described as Numa Numa. Wait, fuck, wait. <laughs> we instead advise you to tear down your walls of sanity, disarm your transgressions, Turn off your cell phone, shut the fuck up, and most of all, enjoy the show. From your friendly neighborhood dumbass, Uzaru. I'm sure by now you're all tired of our stupid intros and jokes and badly animated and whatnot, so I think we're just gonna get along with the review. But I'm sure you all wanna know what game we're going to be reviewing after one minute of dumbassness, so I will let Uzaru tell you the title of the game. Look at the fucking title. So, I guess it's pretty obvious now that the game we're going to be reviewing is... Dissidia Final Fantasy. Now, Dissidia Final Fantasy came out not too long ago, but is already very popular among Final Fantasy fans. Because it brings something new to the table. It is the very first Final Fantasy to be a one-on-one -on -one fight game. But happily, this Final Fantasy game still has story mode, which is great. But it also has new options that are standard in a fighting game, such as arcade mode and quick battle. Now for the fighting system of the game, which is really unique, because it does something that's never been done before. If you notice a number on the bottom left corner of the screen, those are called your bravery points. When you attack your opponent, your bravery points will go up and theirs will go down, and the higher your bravery points are, the more damage you can do to their health. You bring down your opponent's health using something called an HP attack. HP attacks are performed with C, and if successfully connected, will bring your bravery points all the way down to zero. But, it will do damage to their HP equal to how many bravery points you had. Now for EX mode. If you notice a little bar next to your health bar, that's called your EX bar. When you attack your opponent, little orbs will fly out, and if you collect them, your EX bar will go up, and eventually if it gets high enough, you'll be able to go into EX mode. When you're in EX mode, if you will successfully perform an HP attack on your opponent, you will go into your ultimate attack. But if you want to get into EX mode in an easier way, go for the EX core. If you press L, it'll target the EX core if it's on the map, and you can dash towards it as you would your opponent. It will significantly bring up your EX bar. The EX core! I'll get to it before you! This is never gonna work. I need Onion Knight's speed. Onion Knight, help me! Not that, Onion Knight! You think your beloved Onion Knight will save you? CLOUD! Oh, the real Cloud, please? We may not have been that thorough, but our Final Fantasy review is ending here, because we can't really think of anything else to do. Although our conquest may be approaching an end, our greed for reviewing Final Fantasy games is insatiable. Expect to see Uzaru in the near future. Ciao! Oh yes, by the way, Metamorphosis! What will you fight for? Fantasy has no end. Cosmos, the goddess of harmony, chaos, the god of discord. Reigning from distant realms, the two gods had gathered warriors from all lands to lead them in savage war. Cosmos and chaos were of equal strength, 
It was believed the conflict would last forever, but the balance was broken. Those who answered Chaos's call created an inexhaustible force. And under vicious attack without relent, the warriors fighting for Cosmos started to fall one by one. The conflict that has continued for eons is now about to end in Chaos's favor. The world has been torn asunder, sinking into a vortex of disorder. As for the few surviving warriors, their fates are about to be determined. The fantasy is never set in form. And... Shh, don't tell anyone. Um, I kind of just read the back of the kiss.